Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today we're going to talk about breaking up a year into two-digit number pairs so it sounds right if you have speech synthesis going on, right? The, the computer doesn't say 1,972. You want it to say 1,972, right? That's what we're going to do in today's video. Today's question comes from Rachel in Westminster, Colorado, one of my Platinum members. Rachel says, I have poor vision. I feel you. Thanks to your text-to-speech video, I have my Access database say a lot of things for me. So do I. One thing that irritates me, however, is when it comes to a year. For something like 1865, it will say 1865 instead of how it's normally spoken, 1865. Any tips on how to make this sound better? Yes, it's actually interesting, Rachel, because if you type in a year from 1900 up until, I think, 2100, it'll say it like that. It'll say 1972 or 2024. But if you type in something like 1865, it'll read it out like 1865. So there's definitely a cutoff in there somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where. But today we're going to make it so you can send it any four-digit number and it'll, it'll correct it like that. All right, before we get into it today, make sure you go watch my text-to-speech video. It's very easy to make access speak. Right, VBA's got its own speech library, and that's eh, not the best, but it, it works. So go watch this. And of course, today we're going to be using some VBA to do what we need to do. So if you've never programmed in VBA before, go watch this video. It'll teach you everything you need to know to get started in about 20 minutes. Make sure you understand how variables work. We're going to be using some of the string functions like left, right, mid, all those guys. Make sure you know how those work. Be sure you understand string concatenation. That's putting two strings together. And today we're going to create a couple of custom functions. So go watch this video too. These are all free videos. They're on my website. They're on my YouTube channel. Go watch those and come on back. There might be some more. I'm not sure. But if there are, I'll point them out. All right, let's get to it. Okay, here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free database. You can download it off my website if you want to. And the first thing I'm going to do is plug in the speech synthesis code. So let's go to the code vault. I'm going to go to my website and search for speak or speech or whatever. You'll see it right there. There's te the text-to-speech videos there. And down here in the code vault, there's the text-to-speech. It's This one's free. Anybody can grab this one. I'll put a link to it down below. Okay? And this is all you need right there. It's what? One, two, three, four lines of code. All right, so copy that to your clipboard. Normally, this is the kind of cool stuff that you find in the code vault, though. So that's why it's, it's, it's a benefit to be a gold member. All right, back in the database, I'm going to find my global module. There it is. Open her up. And let me resize this. Okay, I'm just going to come right down here in the bottom and hit paste. And there's my speak subroutine. So all you got to do is tell access speak, and then it'll still say some stuff. So let's just test it. Let's come out here. Design view. I am going to put whatever I want it to speak in this box here. All right, so speak this, we'll call it. And I'll make the name of this box. Instead of current date, we'll make it speak this. And we'll get rid of the control source. We'll get rid of the format. And then we'll change this button to speak. You can leave the name Hello World button. That's fine. And what we're going to do in here is right click build event. And instead of status Hello World, we're going to say speak, speak this. And it's going to send speak this, whatever's in that box, to speak. And you should hear it. All right, let's test it. Save it. Close it. Put in here uh, 1913 and speak. 1913. See, it says that one right. If you make this 1813, watch what you get. 1813. See, see, yeah. How about uh, 2024? Let's see. 2024. Uh-huh. Okay. How about 2124. Okay. So we're going to make it so that any year, any four-digit year gets broken up like that into two pairs. Right, so this will be 2024. And of course, then we got an issue with this. How do you handle that zero? 2007. Yeah, see, some people want to hear 2007. So, or 1907. What's 19 do? Let's see. 1907. Yeah, so that one's right. Oh, but 1807. I'm just trying to get a feel for all these different numbers that it does. 1,807. Yeah, see? And it shouldn't say and. According to the proper rules, and is only a decimal point. This should be 1,807 and 15 cents, for example. You only say and 
where there is a decimal point. So, so Sammy put that on the list for Microsoft. They need to fix that. And there's only a decimal point. Okay, so let's go back to our code. In fact, what I'm gonna do is, just so we don't have to keep typing numbers in here, let's put a default value in. Let's do uh, 1865. Okay, save it, close it, open it. All right, we got a default value. All right, so the first step is let's set up a function. We'll do it down here, public function. It's our own function. We're gonna call it format year, format format year <laughs> we'll send to it uh y as a long and we're going to return a string that the speech synthesis can say and the first thing i want to do is check to make sure that y is within normal parameters right if it's less than uh a thousand we can't handle it and if it's greater than 9999 we can't handle it based on the logic we're setting up so we'll say if y is less than 999 or less than a thousand or y is greater than 9999, then we'll just return the value, right? And then, um, and the speech synthesizer will just say it. If you send it the year 852, it'll just say 852. Well, okay. So format year equals, we're gonna convert that y to a string because we gotta return a string, right? So it's C string y, and then exit function. And we'll put some comments in here. Let's get in the habit of commenting, right? Check for valid year okay yeah see i told you i probably missed one or two videos type conversion functions convert between data types you got a long you want to make it a string you got a date you want to make it something else. that's what all these functions do all right go watch this video all right now if we get down here then we have a valid year so let's put that in a string so i'm going to dim s as a string and i'm going to say s equals c string why? Kind of what we did a minute ago. Okay. In fact, in fact, it's probably not a bad idea to put this first. So let's cut that out. Let's put it up here. All right. Put our dim. I, I'm, I'm of the habit of putting all my dims up top. I, I've been trying to, you know, put them down with the declared, but eh. All right. So we already have an S here. So we don't need to call that C string twice. We can just say that. All right. S equals C string Y. Okay. So now here we can split S into two digit pairs so we're going to say s equals the left of s comma two and the space and the right of s comma two and yes you can have a string work on itself like that all right because this starts off as one nine seven two and then this will be it'll turn it into one nine a space and then a seven two and if you don't trust me you can say here uh you can well we're just going to return it right so return Return the value. And then we'll say format year equals s. Okay, save that. And now we're going to speak format year, speak this. Got it? Okay, let's see what happens. And, and you know what? Let's status it too, because we got our status box here. Let's status it too so we can see it. So we'll put in here status s as well. All right. In fact, let's do this here. Let's let's say um, let's say y uh, dash s. So we can see what it came in as and what it's going out as. All right, debug compile, and let's do go. Eighteen sixty five. See, there we go. We split it, right? It came in as eighteen sixty five, and now it changed it to eighteen space sixty five. All right, so what if we got this, 1805? What happens? 1805. I don't want to say zero. I want to say 05. 05, right? All right, so back in here, let's put each of these parts into its own variable. All right, let's go left to as string and right to as string. Okay, and right here we'll say, we'll say left to equals this right and we'll say right to equals that so now we got them in separate variables easier to work with right we'll just replace that with this and that with this but now it shouldn't we shouldn't ever have the left one here being a zero because it would it would fail that rule but this could be a zero okay so now we're going to replace a zero with O, like that, okay? Because it, it, this will make it actually say O, like, oh. 
So if the left of right two comma one equals zero, remember it's a string, so you can't just put a zero there, you gotta put it inside of quotes. Then we're gonna say right two equals O and a space and the right character from right to comma one. So grab the five or the seven or whatever that second digit is. Okay. And then we'll end it. That could be one line, but that looks good. Okay. Save it. Come back out, meow, and hit the button. 1805. Okay. Yeah, 1805. That's what's being spoken. How about uh, 2023? Let's see what that does. 2023. Yeah, sounds good. 2003. 2003. Yeah. Sounds great. Now, there are some other exceptions, too, you might want to throw in here, like this. 2000. 2000. 2000 doesn't sound right. Or even like 1900. 1900. Right? So, we'll talk about those exceptions tomorrow in part two. So tune in tomorrow, same bad time, same bad channel, or if you're a member, you can watch it right now because I'm going to keep recording until I'm done. But that is going to be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow for part two. A special thank you and shout out to our diamond sponsor, Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions. They're manufacturing experts specializing in Microsoft Access and SQL Server. Juan is a 13-time Microsoft Access MVP. Check them out at accessexperts.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't wanna to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn Access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You could find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two. It's free. 
Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.